on today's episode. So a client has brought me this uh, Dell laptop and uh, it's always, always fascinating uh, when somebody brings you something, uh, there is always a story of some kind. Now the story on this occasion is that they had a, a youngster visiting them and they used if they they asked if they could use the computer of course yes and uh, after they'd gone uh, they tried to boot it up and the thing wouldn't boot so they 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 asked the youngster what they'd done and they said oh I just uh, just deleted a couple of uh, couple of folders um, but now apparently it won't boot so let's take a look at what that actually means so we power the, the thing on, usual page now. Now what immediately gets my attention was that clicking noise. I'm not sure if you can hear it on the audio there. And then it goes to try and boot and ends up trying to boot from the ethernet card. Um, I don't think that's gonna happen somehow. So the thing uh, clearly has a, a more serious issue than just a, a few files being deleted. So now I've booted the thing up into, uh, into, the, into set the setup utility. And when we look down the list here, fixed hard disk drive, zero gigabytes. So uh, that's not exactly uh, a good sign. So now I've booted it up into the uh, boot select menu. And um, we can boot from the CD-ROM drive but there's, there's no hard drive in the, in the list there either. So perhaps it would be interesting to take a look at the diagnostics. And it's got to the hard disk drive part uh, for the, the short test, uh, not applicable. So it, it cannot see the internal drive at all. So what to do? This being uh, Adele, um, they haven't made life easy. So to get to the hard drive, um, you actually have to take the entire thing apart, take the base screws out, take the keyboard off and all that sort of good game. I think you even have to split the, split the shell. Um, so I'll, I'll get that done and uh, we'll take a look and see if we can see what's happened with that uh, hard drive. So having removed all the all the screws um, and release the cables for the touchpad and the on off button and such like. Uh, we're in a position now to remove the top cover. Uh, the usual procedure is uh, I use an old blunt uh, utility knife blade just to get in to, to, to start things off. And once you've done that, if you just move around the edges, um, the, the thing should unclip. And there it is, finally released from the unit. So having removed the top cover, we now have finally access to the, the hard drive. And it should be having removed the screws from underneath as well. Just a relatively simple matter of popping one end up and then we have the, the, the unit there. Now this guy, uh, 320 gigabyte uh, drive and the date there, 27th of November, 2010. So it's not, not that old a machine, so uh, we really don't know what's happened to this. Um, perhaps there's a clue here. Um, oh, yes, actually, um, something has struck that uh, pretty hard, and it would appear to have been from the top. Uh, this is not a, a, an unusual thing. In fact, there's another, another dent there. I wonder, what, I wonder what those line up with. Let's just pop that back in. So we always like to know what uh, what the failure mode was, what actually happened to this guy. If we look at the system underneath, there are in fact two um, two raised metal sections here, which spookily coincide with those there. So whether that's just been through normal normal rubbing. Uh, but I suspect not. That those are quite uh, quite significant indentations there. I suspect that uh, either something's been dropped, or somebody in the, in the frustration of uh, losing uh, Farmville or something really important like that has 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 bashed on there and uh, and inadvertently trashed the hard drive. 
That would be my guess. So, spookily, and more by luck than, than judgment, um, what I'm actually replacing it with is another Western Digital Drive, although this guy is a 500 uh, gigabyte drive, um, but it'll slot in exactly the same way, so the old guy out, and the new guy in. Just clips in place there, and now we can go through the reverse procedure of, uh, of putting the, the top back on and the and screws and cables and such like. So having replaced the keyboard and the covers and such like, just booted up now into the, the BIOS, into the setup here, and we can see the fixed hard disk, and it's reporting the Western Digital uh, 500 gigabyte drive that we've put in there. Obviously it's not going to, to, to boot at this time. And uh, the guy said that he would reinstall Windows himself, so uh, that's happy days. I don't think people fully realise the, the pain and grief that's involved. So maybe we'll see this guy again uh, once he can't find all the drivers and uh, and all the updates, etc, etc. So just so that folks can uh, recognise the noise if they hear it again, that ticking that I was talking about when I first uh, was looking at the machine, the sort of uh, hard drive death rattle, if you will. Uh, put the microphone on there so you should be able to... So that ticking is uh, the end. <laughs>